And our countdown to the Sun Belt continues. July 1st will be here before we know it. And now joining us is the head coach of the football program, Dennis Francione. And coach, uh, we're just a few months out you know, from the start of the season coming up. Uh, how are preparations going as you get ready for uh, the 2013 year? Uh, well, we're having a good summer. Our guys are working hard. They're excited about the new league. I think we're all excited, a little anxious, not knowing a lot about some of these teams, you know, the third conference in three years. I've played some of the teams before, uh, but at other schools, so uh, I have some awareness of it. But I think the Sun Belt's improved a lot in the last few years. You look at what they accomplished this past season, and yes, the conference will look different in 2013 as they did in 2012, but for the teams that are back, Bowl teams from a year ago with winning records. Going to be very competitive in the Sun Belt. What are your expectations for how the conference will shape up this coming year? My perception of the Sun Belt is a little different than the WAC. The WAC, last year we had three top 25 teams. I think the Sun Belt is a little more balanced from top to bottom. I don't see as much separation in the teams. And uh, from what I uh, understand, what research tells me is. Uh, the team whose quarterback stays healthy and plays well, the team who doesn't get beat up too much and doesn't have too many injuries, uh, they're going to be com pretty competitive as the whole year goes on, and I, that looks to be true. In your career, you've coached in seven FBS bowl games. Certainly that'll be a goal for this coming season. There are a couple of bowl tie-ins for the Sun Belt. So you've been there and done that before. What does it take to become a bowl team? Physically, number one, I think is a big key for us is being able to withstand the physicalness of FBS level football for an entire year. And if you look back at our season last year, our second halves were difficult sometimes. You know, we were ahead of San Jose, we were ahead of Reno. The second half, we kind of got wore down. Our depth probably wasn't at, at a level that it needed to be to withstand that stretch of four games in October where we, we went Navy. Louisiana Tech, Utah State, and San Jose State, awfully good football teams right there. Uh, we're closer to being able to do that uh, than ever before. We're stronger than we've been uh, at any point in time. Uh, we had about 42 guys bench press over 400 pounds, which when we started I think we had four. Uh, so we've come a long way there. The little things mean a lot in this conference. This will be your 29th year as a head coach of college football, and you're on the doorstep of 200 wins, 197 right now. H how has the game of college football changed between when you started back in the early 80s, I'm not trying to date you here, to what it is today in uh, 2013? Well, it's constantly evolving. Uh, you know, you, you have a trend that happens offensively, and uh, the defense then scrambles and catches up and gets ahead a little bit, and then the offense adjusts. It's a constant involvement. You have to continue to learn. You have to continue to stay current. Uh, one of the good things I think that uh, for me was my time with ESPN. I got to see a lot of games and watch a lot of practices and see how a lot of people uh, did things. And, and that was uh, like taking a sabbatical and, and really having some more education uh, and watching how other people do things. So uh, that, was, that was good, and uh, uh, it's going to keep evolving. If you ever think you haven't mastered, you're going to be wrong. Well, the Bobcats season opener is August 31st at Southern Mississippi, the very first Sun Belt Conference game against the defending New Orleans Bull champion Louisiana Lafayette. We're looking forward to it, Coach. We are too. We're anxious, and uh, our players are working hard, and they're anxious to get to it. <laughs>